or welcome back to the shop. Um, I had a big concern uh, with the, the mining operation and um, maybe you can zoom uh, on the surface and you will understand what I mean. Um, to the camera some trouble to make uh, the focus properly. So zoom back. So the surface on the left is uh, is very nice and smooth. Uh, the other one is not is not very good, and uh, <clears throat> there is some burrs or something like that. And um, I, I was not uh, close to the machine during uh, the operation, and and I, and I have to stop uh, the, the machine, and I discovered that uh, there was a broken bit there, and uh, it was a concern. But hopefully, I let the video running, so uh, I can make an analysis uh, of the problem. And maybe you can see here, uh, in this uh, area, there is something that is not okay. And um, so <coughs> I check with the fin and uh, I will explain what is the concern. Uh, the broken mill, of the mill here is, the end mill is broken at the end. So it's a uh, one of them eight, uh, three millimeter end mill. And um, the broken uh, uh, happened uh, in this area just just there um, <clears throat> so hopefully uh, I let the the video running and that I discover is the the fact that uh, there was a wrong path uh, created by my cam software and uh, indeed I use PyCam and um, the first drawback of PyCam is the fact that uh, uh, it's not able to manage uh, the speed differently on the three axes. It means that you cannot define a plunge speed uh, that is different from the uh, the travel speed or the machining speed. So you have to do it by hand, and it's not very very useful, even if you use uh, some uh, automation or macro to to do the job. The the second concern I discover is uh, with this application. Um, I double check the pass and uh, that is so is the first layer is okay so I uh, require to the software to have a conventional meaning and um, the, the, the first uh, the first layer was okay but the second layer was not okay so the machine uh, go the, the pass created uh, send the machine in the back and instead of um, going in the proper position uh, to stay in the conventional uh, milling the machine uh, plunge there and go through a, a clean milling and you know this kind of machine with a wooden thing um, is not very stiff so if you want to make some clean milling um, it can be very dangerous and uh, you have a broken bit so um, I double check it with the video uh, I will show you the uh, the, the the review of that and uh, I'm concerned about uh, this software so I will find a solution to remake uh, the pass in a proper way and to check um, that the milling strategy uh, defined is okay so uh, PyCam now has a second drawback and uh, the first one so is the fact that you cannot control the, the Z speed and the plunge speed and the second drawback is the fact that uh, even if you define the conventional meaning and uh, the software uh, make on the second layer uh, a clean meaning so it does not take in account uh, this option and uh, it's a big concern for me so um, we we just break uh, a bit you know it's no it's not a big drama the drama is uh, linked to the size of this uh, of this uh, eight of an inch um, end mill but um, it's a good lesson learned from that and um, I will do uh, the passing the other way.